this is Arnavo Chaudhary and you are on my YouTube channel Aaron Foot. Today I want to talk about Bengaluru FC and their great start to the Indian Super League season 2024-2025. The FC have played six matches, five wins and a draw, 16 points in total. They're on top of the table and... Um, Today I want to ask and discuss the question, could and are Mangalore FC a title contender? Can they lift the ISL League Shield? And if we look at the points tally, if we look especially at their defence, um, then I would come to the conclusion, yes. They're not only a contender for top six, but they are a contender for more. But the lessons of the last few seasons have been, especially of the last one where FC Goa and Kerala Blasters were leading at some stage. Odisha was also in the mix. And the, in the end, it was Mumbai Supergiant and Mumbai City FC who fought out the League Shield and the ISL Cup amongst themselves. So therefore... This early momentum is good, but with the ISL growing by a team and two matches each season, there is that pressure. But where does this come from? BFC have been struggling over the last yeah, three, four years. They have not been keeping up with the standards that they themselves have set for themselves, by themselves, in saying, you know what, we want to win at least one title per season. The first thing is that uh, despite all the problems, they kept trust in their head coach, Gerard Zaragoza. He's turned it around with the support of Sebastian Vega and Rendi Singh as his assistants. And it seems like it's working. Then what BFC did after deciding to keep the coach, who do we bring in? Where do we strengthen the squad? And I think three crucial transfers were those of Raul Beke, of Alberto Noguera, and Jorge Pereira Diaz from Mumbai City, the team which won the ISL Cup. And then there are those, people might not speak much about them, but who have been as important, maybe even more important, than people thought. Pedro Capo, the midfielder, he is like the secret organizer. You know, he's like an artist who creates the artwork. Edgar Mendes, up front, is scoring a lot of goals and is showing his worth. And um, young Vinit Venkatesh has had his moments as well. But another factor, which I feel from a BFP perspective, which is very, very crucial, is that there is a number of players who seem to have upped their games. Gurpreet Singh Sandhu is having one of his best seasons in years, I'd say. Roshan Naurem, maybe... The best that have we've seen of the wing back. Sunil Chetri has had his moments, his best moments, I guess, also in the last two, three, maybe four years. And um, Suresh Wangjam is coming of age. He's always been very talented. Suresh Wangjam, junior India captain, was part of the under-17 World Cup squad. We've spoken about him as a talent numerous times over the last few years. And this puzzle, yeah, is coming together, especially that defence. Um, they last night conceded their first goal against the Kerala Blasters in the season and it was a penalty. But we have to speak about the defence. Nikhil Pujari, Raul Beke, Alexander Jovanovic and Roshan Naure. Behind that, Gurpit Singh Sandhu. But also, again, Kapo and Suresh to speak about. And this team, yeah, is showing that hard work is needed. 
to be successful. So therefore, 16 points in six matches, only one goal conceded. BFC seem to be on the right track. Again, drawing Mumbai City away, that's always a tough game. Winning 3-1 at the Kerala Blasters, but also scoring wins at home. 1-0 in the opener against East Bengal, 3 nils against Hyderabad FC, also against Mohun Bagan Supergiant and a 1-0 against Punjab FC, who are strong so far. Yeah, that puts BFC where they are at the moment. And then next Saturday, November the 2nd, the next game at Manolo Marquez coached FC Goa. What do you think? Can BFC lift the ISL shield? Will they maybe stay unbeaten this season? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, like, share and subscribe Arunfoot here on YouTube on my other social medias. Visit arunfoot.com and I'll be back very soon. So now with Chaudhary signing off. Bye for now.